Sanders, please. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you for holding this hearing on what is obviously a very important issue. Madam Chair, as you have already heard, bank profits are at an all-time high, and the profits that banks are currently making from the various fees that they have established are also at an all-time high. Now, what's been going on is that for the last couple of years all over this country, a lot of people who work in banks, real live human beings who are tellers and so forth, they've been laid off. And the theory is that the banks were going to save money by establishing ATMs to replace these human beings, and that the ATMs would be more efficient and cost them less money. And the theory was that it was going to be the consumer who would benefit from those savings. But as you know, and what we're hearing today is that certainly is not going to be the case. This is what the reality is going to be. An individual is going to be in a downtown someplace, and that person needs 20 or 30 dollars. And that person is going to put their card in an ATM machine. And what they're going to find out at some point is that they're being charged two dollars or three dollars or maybe more to get twenty dollars of their own money out of a bank. And frankly, Madam Chair, that is an outrage, that is a consumer ripoff, and it is our job as representatives of the American people to stop those ripoffs. Madam Chair, many of us enjoy the conveniences of ATM machines, including machines that our bank doesn't own. Today, we pay an average of $1.18 to, to our banks for using this convenience. Now, as a result of the changes that took place on April 1st, we can expect to pay an additional fee to the owner of the ATM machine. What will the additional fee mean? We don't know. What the experts tell us is it will be about a doubling of the current fee, but in some areas it may even go higher. Now the second point that needs to be made, and Mr. Leach touched on it, this is a very important point, and that is that this is not only a ripoff to consumers, but is going to have a very deleterious impact on small banks all over America. What we have today are small banks and credit unions and other small community-oriented financial institutions who cannot afford a large number of ATM machines. And these people, these small institutions, will lose customers who will then drift away to the larger banks which are able to have large numbers of ATM machines. <clears throat> At a time when many of us are already concerned about the fact that we are losing community banks all over America, and the biggest banks are becoming bigger, and we are seeing less competition in the banking industry, this ability of banks to charge as much as they want for ATM use will only accelerate that process. What happens, Madam Chair, to a small bank right now in a small community that may have only one ATM machine? Now, the person who banks at that bank right now goes out and uses other machines in the community, in their area. Are they going to continue to go to that small bank when those fees for the use of other banks' ATMs go skyrocketing up? I think many banks and credit unions are concerned about that trend. Uh, Madam Chair, let me just uh, conclude by saying that we have heard uh, from some banks who have said, oh, don't worry, don't worry, uh, we are not going to uh, raise the charges. Well, that's what they say today, but in fact, what we have already seen is some banks who have already said that have already raised their charges. What experts tell us that within five years, virtually every financial institution in this country will have raised their fees very, very substantially. So I think, uh, Madam Chair, that as members of the Congress, uh, while we are certainly uh, obliged to uh, listen to the concerns of banks and other financial institutions, sometimes we forget that we're primarily here to represent the ordinary Americans. And many of those people are not doing well. Banks are making record profits. Ordinary people have seen a decline in their standard of living. It seems to me absolutely appropriate and correct that we stand up with the consumers of America, we stand up with the various consumer organizations uh, who have supported my legislation, um, and that we say to the banks, sorry, you cannot double or triple the uh, charges that you're uh, placing on consumers for the use of ATM machines. Thank you very much, Madam Chair.
Thank you 